welcome back my beautiful people to this segment of our Valentine's Day special to look as we saw before we had our fancy smear she me she me she going out night look with the little wing liner and the little nice deep red and the mauve color on the lid super cute super pink we love that right now we're going to move on to the more artistic, the more Valentine's obvious look. And I don't know how artistic this is going to get. I have a vision in my mind that I'm hoping to execute very well. Let's get into this. So I have a vision of... My vision for this is I want to have a very, very, very bright and deep outer corner. Just in the inner corner. Absolutely no color on the lid itself. Like, I want to have a huge heart on the whole center lid. I, and then I want to have an arrow from the inner corner going up past the eyebrow. Put it on right here, up into the lash line. Up. I love this purple color, this caddy color. It looks really nice. Even know why I'm still filming because this is a fail. Guys, 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 guys. Okay. So, after that failure attempt demonstrated uh, before, we are back same day. Just redid my whole face again as the way I had it beforehand with the first look. <sighs> to try this again, take to I'm feeling good I went took a little break ate did some homework for my classes tomorrow um, and I started took a little break again and I started looking at Pinterest and I started looking at Instagram and the original I ideas the original posts and stuff that I got my idea from and I'm back I am back and I'm feeling comfortable and I'm feeling ready and I think this one might be it. Take two. I think this just might be it. For, so before we get in, let me be, let me show you on pictures what I'm talking about. So with the last look, when we first started with that pink and purple shadows, absolutely love it. I'm going to do that again because at that point in that video, I was feeling in this video, I was feeling it. I was feeling it and then I destroyed it. Towards the end, we all know how that goes. That's how every relationship starts, you know? You begin it, cupcake face, super cute, Valentine's Day, teddy bears, and then you destroy it because you overthink it and you don't go back. Went back, rethought it. I was just scrolling through my Pinterest and this came up and I was like, oh my god. That color's so similar to the color that I used for the beginning of the look. I was like, I want to recreate that because that looked so, that was genuinely so beautiful to, beautiful to me. I thought it was amazing the, that um, hot pink fused into that purple. And then, and then I kept scrolling on my Pinterest and I saw this. The freckled heart face. And I was like, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to replicate on the side. I didn't try to do it, but that was one of my ideas. I was like, I want to do the freckled heart face. So I was like, bro, why don't I make a stencil? That's how long it took me to come up with that genius idea. Why don't I make a stencil? So I legit went, grabbed computer paper ripped it into a tiny piece, grabbed a hole puncher because I couldn't find a scissor right away, hole punched two holes, and then went, I couldn't find a scissor again, so then I went and I got nail clippers, and I cut off the edges, and I made a little freaking heart stencil of a paper that we're going to be using. So cute. I was like, 
yes finally you think I want to give you guys good makeup content the best that I can possibly do as well as funny like quirky content that you guys would adore and I just don't want to like do something and then maybe fail at it and have that be that and that be the content Pinterest really ignites a fire in me makeup with hair and with my outfits like anytime I feel blocked or I feel like I'm forgetting something or I feel like I can't execute my idea or I need help with some ideas or recreate something I go on Pinterest and it all it honestly always helps me it always helps me get to something that I'm proud of doing and you know what I'm gonna link my Pinterest down below in case you guys want to follow me yes I'm so excited okay back to the Ooh la la palette. Back with my brush. <laughs> my dirty, dirty brushes. Because I'm a dirty, dirty girl. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to be using Ooh la la color pop. Sandbar, guys. Oops, sandbar. We're going to be putting this on the lash line. Onto the outer V. Kind of fanning it out. Up slightly, just slightly up onto the crease and a little bit closer to the brow bone but we're not gonna bring it in so let's get started guys less talking more doing you know what I'm saying all right let's give it to you guys and this is all about packing on the product so lightly packing it on up first thinning it out slightly ever so slightly I messed it up. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, guys. Love it. Okay, now let's go back in with... So we're going to go in with Caddy. And we're just going to focus that completely on the lash line right here in the outer corner and the lower lash line. And right there on the lower... And don't forget the lower lash line. And bringing it further than the pink, ever so slightly further than the pink. So I have this hot, really, really hot pink metallic -y shimmer color that I really want to use. But I don't know where. Um, like the hot pink that we used on the lid. For the hearts as the freckles and maybe some with the purple but I really want to use this metallic maybe I should use the metallic with the heart like on the middle at the go grab caddy again and I'm just gonna lightly put the look down so you see your crease and I'm just gonna put this really lightly really like defined on this inner corner Kind of like drag it to your inner corner as well, but I'm don't I don't want it to meet up with the with the hot pink. Okay. Now with some more product and define it. I'm gonna grab this brush right here and grab that hot pink and just put that on top of the purple we just laid. So grab sandbar, just put that right on the inner corner where we laid a uh, caddy. So, ooh, yes. Okay, that's a look. That is a look. So now I'm going to grab my heart stencil. A little flat brush, like so. Real techniques, guys. But use what you have. And I'm going to grab that ColourPop Slave 2 Pink Super Shock um, Pressed Pigment. Which is that really, like, shimmery, metallic -y hot pink. It's gorgeous. And I'm just going to now... Um, it's going to be a little hard because I've only got two hands. I just want to see where I want to put it. I think I want to put it right there. I'm going to lay this on my eye. Hold it. And smack it on. Let's see. Let's see what it gave us. Oh, you can't really see it. But do you see that? Give us like a little heart in the middle. Oh, that's cute. Next eye. Okay, I'm just going to 
grab a flat brush because I'm not going to go digging for that one right now. And I'm going to go into um, sandbar and that's what I'm going to do with the freckles on my face of the hearts. So, let's start with it right here. And I'm going in with sandbar. Alright guys. As you can see, I have a lot of it on my brush. And now I'm just looking at my mirror and I'm going to put it on. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, okay, I'm so excited. Like right here of the temple. At the temple. And then bring one right here. Right above the eyebrow. I want to kind of add this iridescent shimmer to really make it pop. Peace and gents. I wanted to attempt to do at least one arrow on one of these hearts. Should it be on the nose? I'm going to do it on the nose. Guys, pray for me. Bless me. Okay, arrow time, guys. Just... <laughs> Done. Done. Oh, I've got a little arrow on my nose. Okay, done, done. I literally look like Rudolph. <laughs> I look like a Valentine's Day Rudolph. Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger had a very shiny nose. This is what I wanted to do before and I couldn't get it. I'm so excited, I'm so happy for myself. Okay, now I'm gonna come back with my lashes on guys. You already know they're gonna be the Ardell Wispies uh, 113. Just letting you know guys. With a little bit of MAC mascara. The false lashes one, and yeah, I'll let you know. And we're back with our Ofra lip on. So now I think I'm just gonna leave out the Anastasia Beverly Hills because I really like this purple and we don't need it. So we don't need another purple on top of it. So I'm gonna go in with Jasmine now, and I think I'm gonna grab it on the fluffy brush, like so. And I'm just going to stamp it on to the middle of my lips. Like so, guys. Let's see. Hurry. I always try to... Guys, let's see. Do we want some gloss on top? Maybe just a little bit? Let's just do just a tiny bit with our brush. Just to give us that sheen in the middle. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Just to make our lips look juicy. That's all that we want in life. Guys, guys, let me zoom you out. Let me zoom you out. Guys, that's our finished look. Oh my god, round two rock. Yes, let's hear it for us. We flippin' did it. We stepped back. We looked at life and what we were doing wrong and we flippin' did it. We succeeded. I'm so happy with it. Honestly, sometimes it's little goes a long way. When you try to do too much, you mess up. And that's what I have a problem with a lot is that, like, I want to do something so good and amazing that, like, I want it fast as well that I don't give myself time to practice. I don't give myself time to really think about it. And then I start it and I love it and then I just get so excited and overwhelmed that I keep doing it, keep doing it, and then I mess it up, and then it turns out failures. That's not what we want here. We want to succeed ultimately. Of course, failures, clearly, we need to have them. But, I want to give you guys good t content, so you guys are like my fighter, like you're fighting with me, like, 
you're making me fight harder to really think, step back and think about it. So, so happy that this turned out the way it did. And thanks so much for watching. And stay tuned for more videos like this, guys. And any ideas you guys have, what's the next holidays coming up? I think it's St. Patrick's Day. So if you want me to do a St. Patty's look, let me know. I don't have a lot of greens, but I can probably like, incorporate some, like, blues in there. But, you know. Let me know what you want to see. I'm sorry, I'm trying to put my um, lashes away. Sorry. But this is the finished look, guys. Let me know what else you want to see. Let me know if you liked it. In the comments, tell me what you like. If you recreated, DM me, tag me, send me your pictures or your video links. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a video. And hit that like button if you liked it and if you have a date for Valentine's Day. Or what I mean by that is if you have a date with your couch or with an actual person. That works too. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy that's what I have to say. Yeah, bye. See you later. See you next week. Oh yeah, side note, P.S. Uh, public service announcement. Um, since school has started, I'm gonna try to post at least twice a week. But I can already see that once a week might be a struggle. So, guys... I don't that Monday and Friday thing that I was doing I don't know if the hell that's gonna work out I'm gonna try to post a lot more on Mondays or Fridays but if I have to post in the middle of the week guys especially for like days like this like Valentine's Day where it's on Thursday I'm not gonna post on Friday because then you guys can't use it you know you guys can't use it for your Valentine's Day so I'm gonna try to post either Mondays or Fridays but just keep out that's why you gotta hit that notification bell just keep out i will be posting every week i promise you and let me know what else you want to see and follow me on instagram because i do polls I ask you guys questions and i do little tutorials sometimes when i'm going out so on my stories so look at that i just did one and it came out really nice too so guys go on my instagram and go follow me on twitter too even though i'm a little on it but I'm, try, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to be better and I'm gonna link my Pinterest down so if you want to go follow me on Pinterest go do it bye